Hey, what's going on, NGT community? It's Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics. And I'm not sure if you're aware of this particular game or if you've ever heard of it, because to be quite honest with you, I hadn't. I mean, I, I typically follow a lot of shooter strategy games, and I do follow the news a lot, which is why I came across this, and I'm glad that I do follow the news. But it's called Dead Island. For those of you that do know this game and have been following it, you're aware of the teaser trailer that's out. And quite honestly, it is one of the most amazing teaser trailers. I know I've said that before. I'm not saying it's the best. No, it's the best one. No, this one's the best one. It is a superb teaser trailer. However, it is a little disturbing. Uh, I read through a ton of the comments, and there's a lot of people going, there's something wrong with it. You know, I have a little girl, and put it this way, there's a little girl in there. Things aren't so pretty in the, uh, the trailer for the little girl. So people were offended by it. And I understand, believe me, I understand. I have three young boys, okay? So I understand that connection. But again, we're talking about a game. And we're talking about a zombie game. A zombie game, um, another zombie game. I know somebody will be like, oh my God, another zombie game. Uh, this one does look a little bit different, uh, you know? And it's hard, to, it's hard to tell because, quite honestly, I mean, I stumbled across this. And I only know what I've read about it. It's an RPG, zombie type game. You're a tourist on a tropical island and things go crazy. But you don't have your typical weapons. As a matter of fact, there's hardly anything. You gotta, you've got to find things that, are, that may be on this tourist island. You know, a couple of handguns with uh, apparently hardly any ammo anywhere. So if you're lucky enough to get one, you might be able to pop off a few shots. And then the weapon's done. Uh, maybe some axes, some bottles, a broom or something. But there's not like, you know, there's not like crazy friggin' weapons that you can kill these zombies with. You're a tourist on an island and you gotta find things that might be in this, you know, touristy type resort. That being said, I, you know, I looked at it and the sounds of it, it's hopefully they do a better job. And I'm sorry for knocking it. I know a lot of you had a lot of fun with it. And I played it as well, but uh, Dead Rising 2. I find Dead Rising 2 to be just way too much hack and slash, just sort of, you know, nonsense. But this. If you watch the teaser trailer here, and this is why they did it so seriously, and by the way, it is a bit disturbing, and it's rated 18, so if you're not good with blood and guts and that sort of stuff, and you maybe get easy of, easily offended because it is, you know, a little girl that uh, things don't go so well for her, then don't watch it. I'll warn you right now, don't watch it. I'll put a link to it in this video, which is probably already up already, uh, or in the description. However, um... This does look cool, and the reason being is because I saw another trailer for it uh, talking about the rendering of the actual zombies themselves. And we're not talking about, you know, if you, you look at a game like, say, Dead, uh, Dead Rising 2, you know, you took the axe, and it was kind of, you know, fun little stuff where you could create a lot of stuff. But this is more of a serious sort of RPG drama type thing, which is exactly what the teaser trailer is setting up. So you're talking about a, a really, supposedly, a really solid story um, that's going to take the zombies in a different direction rather than taking it in just sort of chaos or whatever. More like, a, I guess, a Resident Evil type, um, you know, seriousness, that sort of thing. Now, here's the cool thing that I really liked, and I watched it. It's only like 45 seconds long. I couldn't find it on YouTube, or although I didn't really look very hard. But nonetheless, they've created all of the zombies to have multiple layers and I'm talking about bone structure and flesh on the zombies. So if you're so lucky to get, say, an axe, and you chop at the face, but you miss, you know, you miss right in the middle of the head, and you kind of get the side, it'll actually slice the flesh off the side of the face. Every single blow, every time you kill or hit a zombie, it's always different. It's not like you hit a zombie in normal, typical spray pattern of blood, and then that's it, and then they die. The zombies are structured in such a manner that if you friggin' hack the arm, the friggin' arm comes off. They've actually gone so much into detail that every time you kill one of these zombies, it dies in a different manner. They've actually built the skeleton, then the flesh on top, and then the skin over top of it. And you can actually slice and kill them very, very specific. And what happens is with the weapons, they deteriorate over time. Yes, kind of like uh, Dead Rising 2, but not in such a comical sort of fashion. Apparent, it's basically when you're hitting them or whatever, as it's hitting through the bones, it's actually dulling the weapons just like it would in real life. You know what I mean? Well, in real life when you kill zombies in real life. 
You know what I mean. So as you're killing them, it's actually dulling the weapon. Just like a, a normal knife upstairs, you know? You've got to use the actual stone, uh, or the steel, sorry, the stone. You've got to use a steel to actually keep that blade aligned because the more meat you cut, more everything, vegetables or whatever, it'll actually throw the blade off. And that's the same thing. I know I'm talking about culinary uh, skills in a zombie game, but the zombie trailer is one of the best CGI uh, trailers that I've seen. It's disturbing, but it's friggin' incredible. I guarantee you when you watch it, you'll be like, wow, that was friggin' awesome. Do we need another zombie game? I don't know. I don't know, but if it is truly different from the other ones, who cares? Zombies or not, it doesn't really matter. I mean, everything else is overdone. We got war shooters out the wazoo. So this one is a, I believe, a first person, first person shooter type RPG with zombies. I think that'd be really, really cool. I think it'll be something something different. So it's, I believe it is first person shooter, zombies, RPG type game on an actual island. But you know, the mechanics of it that they're talking about sound amazing. Take a look at the trailer, tell me what you think. Do you think they went overboard? Is it gonna get flamed by parents everywhere? Cause it is a little disturbing, it really is. Uh, I, I can see, I mean for me, I don't, I'm like whatever, it's a video game, it's, I know it's not real. You see movies all the time with crazy crap like that happening. No different than in a zombie game. But of course, you know what happens. Whenever anyone puts something like that out, everyone's like, oh my god, I was so offended. I can't believe that. I can't watch it. How can you be allowed to put that out there? Whatever, people. Then shut down the entire movie industry because it's the same garbage that's out there, but you don't go whining about that because you know it's a movie. This is a video game. It's even farther removed with zombies. Leave your comments. I want to know. I want to know if you think that maybe they went too far in the actual trailer uh, or does it just simply look kick-ass? Are you interested in it though? Based on what I told you and based on what you see there, is a zombie RPG first-person shooter with those kind of mechanics something that you think might be cool if it's done right? Because we don't know. We haven't seen really any gameplay. Uh, you know, until you get your hands on it, it's really hard to tell whether a game's really good. I thought Dead Rising 2 was going to be good. I got bored of it really, really fast. I'm like, oh yeah, putting these things together, vacuum cleaner, but it was too cartoony for me, not enough to sort of draw me in. Anyway, I'm Guns Ferrari from Next Tactics. Those are my opinions, and I'm curious about yours. Hey guys, we're on Netflix. Okay, well, we're not on Netflix, but we are officially sponsored by them now. Thousands of movies and TV shows available every day at the click of a button. For a free one-month trial membership, simply click on the link in the description, courtesy of NextGen Tactics. Yeah, you're welcome.